Today, we're reviewing the No Better Foods buns. What's up crew, Jeff Thornton here with Land of Lean. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell below to stay informed on new videos that are dropping, and like, comment, and share if you enjoy these videos. Today, we're back with another review of No Better Foods buns. I'm really excited to give these ones a shot. My personal nutrition plan, I eat a lot of ground beef, and having buns and things that add volume to those foods would be extremely helpful, but I don't eat a lot of breads, and I haven't eaten breads for the past, I would say three years or so, just because I've just been cutting down. But these look like they're gonna be a, an awesome addition to the cabinet. I haven't tried these ones before, and I'm excited to give them a shot. If they taste the way I expect them to, and they add that extra, you know, volume and density to my meals and make everything a little bit more full. I think it's gonna be a great addition to what we're gonna try. But before we actually open these up, let's look at the ingredients and the, and the nutrition facts. So for the ingredients, we have water, almonds, allulose, dried egg whites, organic prebiotic fiber, flax seeds, organic coconut flour, chia seeds, leavening, organic sea salt, and organic flax flour. Very simple basic ingredients, and especially for a bread product, when you look at the traditional breads from off the shelf that you go to your local stores, they're filled with like a laundry list of ingredients, and you're like, what in the heck am I reading? You know, you have to have a PhD <laughs> to dive through all that stuff. But these are very simple ingredients, easy to understand, you know what they are. I love that. Let's take a look at the nutrition facts. So there are four buns per one container, for one bun, that's 100 grams. The calories are 184 calories and 108 calories from fat. Total fat, 12 grams. Saturated fat, 1.5 grams. Trans fat, zero grams. Cholesterol, zero milligrams. Sodium, 200 milligrams. Potassium, 600 milligrams. Total carbohydrates, 26 grams. Dietary fiber, 12 grams. Sugars, 12 grams and protein, 16 grams. Very good macro profile on this one with everything that you have. So you have 12 grams of the fat, 16 grams of protein, and for the net carbs, you have four grams of net carbs. That's incredible. For buns that have four grams of net carbs, that's gonna fit in any diet, keto, paleo, low carb, your normal you know, nutrition plan, whatever that you're on, four grams of net carbs, you definitely can't beat that. Let's open these puppies up and give these ones a shot. I'm really excited because as I hold the package, they're very dense. It's very dense, it has a lot of weight to it. You, let's see if I just, here's a sound test. You hear that? Just, just dropping it on this little table that I have, you can hear the weight of the buns. They're heavy, heavy buns, I like that. Let's give these ones a shot, let's open them up. It comes in a resealable bag, which is nice. If you're gonna store them in your refrigerator, you don't have to worry about the you know, freezer burn if you put them in the freezer or anything that you have. So, very nice. Opening the package, there's a pleasant aroma that comes off of these, uh, these buns. And I'm just taking a look at the inside now. They're very moist, and you can tell because they're glistening. Uh, they have that, that nice moisture, that nice sparkle from them. Take a look at the inside. See what I mean, how the bun itself has that glisten coming off? It's very moist, and as I press into it, it's dense. I like that a lot. And there's four, four buns total in this, in this package right here. You can see the moisture, how it was glistening, and I really like that. And as we pull one of these things out, you can see even further, like, what I'm talking about. It's a lot of moisture, and as I press into it, it's bouncing back very nicely. It's has a, it's very firm, um, but it's soft as well. It's not breaking apart. And what I can compare like a, a traditional um, hamburger bun, for instance, if you press them down or squish the package, those things stay flattened out, man, and that's not a good time at all. But these ones, I don't see having that same type of problem if there was something that you stored on top of it in your refrigerator. It might, you know, decrease a little bit over time, but um, from what I can tell now, it doesn't have, 
you're not gonna lose the form of these buns. They're very thick, very strong and sturdy. Uh, I really like that. And the fragrance, and the, and the fragrance I'm getting from it is, it has the bread aroma to it, um, but it's not, it doesn't actually have um, that entirely bread fragrance that you get, if that makes any sense. It, it has a different fragrance all in itself, which is nice, it's pleasant, but it's, it's just really subtle, I would say. I can't really compare it to anything. Let's give it a shot. I'm just gonna bite directly into it and see how it tastes off the initial bite. Mmm, good. Mm -hmm. mm, good. What's it taste like? Mmm, this thing is dense, man. I'm having a hard time comparing it to anything that I've had before. It's very good. Don't get me wrong, it tastes very good. Uh, with the flavor, I just can't compare it to anything as to give you an example, so to speak. The only thing I can really just think of is just, like, uh, let me see. I guess only the one of the, the closest things I can compare it to is those, uh, those bro, those loaf of breads that you get at like a, that you get at Sprouts or something like that those nine grains loaf, those nine grain loaves that you get at Sprouts, but it's not as refined tasting, like the, re like, um, when I say refined, I mean, I mean like sort of like a processed taste, I guess. It's not, it's not, it's not processed tasting. Um, these actually feel like more quality. You feel the, the quality of the ingredients a little bit better just tasting it. Um, I like it, I really do. What would, what I'm interested to try is, grilling these or toasting them, like cutting them in half, toasting them, grilling them, and eating a burger or ground beef or whatever turkey on one of these. And I think that would just be something that would just be really enjoyable. But for sure I could see adding these into my diet or into my nutrition because these have a lot of volume. I won't just be eating meat. Now I have something that I can put my condiments on, extra lettuce and things like that to really create a meal instead of just eating a piece of meat, so to speak, like a burger or something or steak. These are gonna be fantastic to add in. Uh, for me, I would give these, from a taste standpoint, I would say a four out of five for me because it's not like an overpowering taste that you get when you're eating the traditional type of breads, I would say, that you're used to tasting or that you grew up tasting. It's a little bit different. It's more thick, uh, like an Ezekiel bread. If you've ever had Ezekiel bread, that's how that's how hearty it tastes or how hearty it feels and with Ezekiel bread it has the like those grains with it these are I would say were similar not like Ezekiel bread but if that was the closest thing I say I could that came to my mind that's what I could relate it to but a four out of five for me on these buns these are definitely gonna be a staple food for me because I don't eat a lot of breads and it would be nice to have burgers and things with a bun just to add that different texture, that different flavor into my meal. So these are going to be uh, definitely a staple in it. And with No Foods, I'm super excited about what they're doing with everything. It's incredible that they have a great tasting bun. That it doesn't feel like you're losing, you know, the the normal satisfaction that you get from your traditional buns. It doesn't feel like you're losing anything at all. It actually feels like it feels like a solid replacement to me and it actually feels just like you're actually eating a lot better to be honest with you. So, and that's something that I'm really dialed in on is cleaning up all of my food sources, making sure I'm getting the right things in my body so I can perform at my max performance and be extremely efficient throughout the day and through workouts and anything that I'm doing to stay firing at all, firing at all cylinders. So yeah, these are fantastic. Four out of five for me on a taste and um, yeah, these are enjoyable. If you want to give these a shot, go to nofoods.com and you'll really enjoy these ones. Give them a shot, see how you like them. I like them just for my, the lifestyle that I live and it's just going to be a great replacement for not eating breads for me. Uh, these are fantastic and they fit well into my macro profile. So these are incredible. Give them a shot at nofoods.com. Um, and as always, crew, I appreciate your love and support. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to like, comment, and share if you enjoyed this video. And let me know your thoughts on these buns when you give them a try. I would love to hear your feedback on these. Till next time, crew, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Live lean. Peace.
Today we're back with another review, this time of No Better Foods buns. I'm excited to give these ones a shot because as you know, hamburgers have, hamburgers and like, and those 